Hey everyone, this is Lisa Chanette, AKA the Melanated Minimalist. If you're here for this channel, it is all about living minimally. If that's what interests you, then please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. All right. So today's um, actual video is about a response from, again, my girl, Kelly Stamps, who I actually love and admire because she's actually living a minimalist lifestyle, but she has a bigger budget. Now, one of the things I absolutely enjoyed about her last video, which is about living, um, living, I think just living well, I can't remember the name of the title, but I'll put it in the description box and I'll also link it to it. But basically, she was sharing about, you know, being a minimalist doesn't mean you cannot buy quality. And I remember from the last video, which you'll see in the description box, um, it spoke about just quality over quantity. You don't have to buy a whole bunch of things, but you need to buy nice quality things for you. And one of the things that I absolutely love and admire is that she downsized from 150 items of clothing attire to 20. And I think even now she's 12. But all of them or quality um i have not ventured to downsize that much i've done stuff in the past and i end up having only all black clothes go figure um today you see me wearing all black and i'm at the beach and it's free parking it's free everything here um however in in, in lieu of what she shared we were talking what she was talking about when you move you even have less stuff to move so you can kind of you know do this thing with you on this this whole vibe of just hey i want to move to the west coast and you can literally move from the, to the west coast easily of course after you place your, your coins aside and whatever you had to do but it will be less move um things to move because you have downsized such an incredibly amount right so that was one of the um, perks of being a minimalist another thing she shared about is um not requiring you to buy things that um that you could not put together really quickly less stress on your mind when you're trying to decide what to wear. So if you have an outfit and it's a quality and buying off season instead of in season can give you absolutely amazing items at less money. So she was saying that when you have these outfits, you might find one that's really, really great on your body. Go buy two or three of them, maybe four or five of them in different colors, okay? Maybe that many, but the, the, you, you get the point I'm saying is quality over quantity. So another thing that I absolutely love is that she even said that she was tired of the dating scene, so she stopped dating. Now that's to your own discretion. She just felt like some of the things she dealt with was her time that she would go on dates and it would just be so like the same constant, hey, how are you? What do you do? Da, 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 da. She said she got tired of it, so she eliminated dating. I'm not saying that you have to, but it's also an opportunity for you to kind of go deeper on yourself and look at yourself, right? Self-awareness, self-love. I don't negate dating. I think it's amazing, but you got to be careful of how many people you decide to date, right? Um, another thing that she said is small talk, that she stops around herself with people who just want to small talk. And she was into more of a bigger atmosphere, bigger things going on in life. Um, travel is one of her things, eating amazing food. And sometimes you're with people who don't think the same way you think, or you feel obligated to be with them or be around them because you've known them for so long, or you feel like, hey, we go to the same church, we do the same thing. No, you don't have to. You have to still make a decision that is based on, again, quality over quantity, okay? Even with friendships, you can do that. And then the other thing that I absolutely love is that <clears throat> she shared about memberships, gym memberships. I think we talked about this before. I am um, a certified um, fitness instructor, so I normally get free memberships. So that is not a problem for me as much as some other people may have. But it also looks at if you're spending like 60, 75 or hundred dollars, some of these places are $125 for membership. Some are like $10. Again, that's quality over quantity. You look at the $10 membership or the $20 membership versus the 150 or the 75. And you know, there's a difference, right? It's the people, it's the amenities. It's a lot of things, right? But you can stop those memberships sometimes being around people in certain like the Pilates class or yoga classes you're spending $150 a month and you could just do the yoga outside like I'm in Florida so I could do it here on the beach and there's no one around me but if I wanted someone to join me I could actually have friends who come and join me here at the beach and do yoga or whatever we're going to do right meditation whatever however that saves money if you delete those memberships 
Okay, guys, I will not overcook you guys grits. As they say in the South, that means I'm not going to talk to you forever. I am the Melanated Minimalist. Guys, this channel is all about living minimally. We'll talk about travel. We'll talk about relationships. We'll talk about good food, wellness, and even how to have money so that you can have a great life. Okay? And if you absolutely want to be my friend, go ahead and like, share, and describe this channel. Listen. I don't know what's gonna happen with this channel as far as how many times I'm trying to do Fridays and Saturdays uploads. So pray for me if you're a prayer, if that's what you do, whatever you don't do, that's on your business. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some press on nails on my nails so shortly. That's why I didn't show my nails today, but I wear press on nails. Yes, I do like five or six bucks for a pack of 30. They are amazing, okay? So I'm gonna drop all the videos Kelly Stamps videos, my videos, go ahead and grab it, get you some popcorn, get you something to drink and enjoy the videos. And listen, being a melanated minimalist, I, you know I'm a woman of color, hey, whoop, whoop. and that's not many of us who do it. Now I'm not saying this channel is just for my people um, of my color, because it's for anybody who wants to live a minimalist lifestyle, but I do emphasize that we as a people, yep, my black folks, <laughs> my melanated folks, we don't normally like to want to live minimally or we have been projected as people who had to live minimally because of things that were taken from us or never given to us. But I want to negate all those negative traits and I want to say, let's live with less. Let's do more. Let's travel more. You know, put the money in experiences. I love experiences over things. That's probably why I got less things and I have more experiences. And I didn't learn that until I got a little older and I'm not going to tell you my age because a true woman never tells her age, right? We do, but I'm over 40 plus, okay? Um, so you may see this face and go, does someone look like she want to be a minimalist? Yeah, I do, I do. Um, Cause a lot of women of my age normally like to live big, whether it be cars, the houses, the men, whatever. I'm just here to shed a different light on this subject. As you can see, I'm at the beach. And if you don't know my story, I'll tell you more as you get to get to know me um, on the next upcoming videos. We'll talk about van life. We'll talk about nomadic life. We'll speak about a living in um, a shared housing, which I've done. <laughs> um, it's really cost effective. And if you're not married, it's even better because you don't have to take all the expenses on you. You pay one fee and you're done. And you live in a nice place and they have valet trash. Oh yeah, we'll talk about that too. Um, cryptocurrency, all that. I don't know, we just talk about everything. But again, it's all about the minimalist lifestyle, okay? Yes, I have a very expensive 12 Max Pro iPhone that I end up having to pay for um, because I end up getting my phone stolen uh, months ago in Miami on a business trip, but it's all good because I can write this off on my taxes. And besides, this 4K, ooh, 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 mm, yeah. I look better for you guys, and I don't even own a Canon or a Nik Nikon, Nikon, whatever, whatever. I remember Polaroids. Um, I don't even own one of those. I just own this simple 12 Max Pro that I spent like $1,000 on, but it is a business expense. And yes, my minimalist lifestyle said quantity, quality over quantity. So don't go a bunch, buy a bunch of stuff and have all different color pants, all different color shirts. Just get down to the nitty gritty and live your best life. Have more experiences. Again, it's your girl, Lisa Shanette, the Melanated Minimalist. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that button. Hit that button. Bing, bing, bing. Bing, bing, bing. Hi, y'all.